Also tonight, a day in court for the man accused in a quadruple shooting outside a Norfolk hotspot. The victims included a sheriff's deputy and forced a change in how the business does business. 25 year old Tyshawn Gray faces a list of charges connected with the August shootings outside of Legacy Lounge Plume Street. Police say Gray fired into a crowd outside the club. Ten on your side's Chris Horn tells us more about where the case is headed next. And evidence presented in court today through surveillance video shows just that. The sound of eight gunshots outside the Legacy nightclub. However, only seven of the original nine charges will go forward to the grand jury. The shots came from an area down Plume Street from the Legacy nightclub toward Atlantic. Evidence showed a man matching Tyshawn Gray's description coming out of the club shortly before. Defense attorney Andrew Sachs says Gray was in a violent fight inside. He was stomped on, dragged out of the club, and within a very short time after that, had a reaction to that. And I think that's understandable, human nature being what it is. Seven of the nine felony charges were sustained for the grand jury including malicious assault on a law enforcement officer. The sheriff's deputy recovered from a wound to the leg, and the other victims also recovered. Sachs says Gray is overcharged even with just the seven remaining felonies. They've selected the most serious charges, you know, malicious wounding and this sort of thing. That requires some very specific intent, some very bad intent, specific intent against specific individuals. That's not what this evidence is. Commonwealth's attorney Ramin Fadihi presented evidence of eight shots coming from a Smith & Wesson 380 pistol. Fadihi says only luck kept the shooting case from becoming a homicide. As with other recent high profile cases, he wanted to prosecute this case himself. This is one of the most serious cases that's come out of our city in calendar year 2022. Four people shot, we're lucky they all lived. The, this is a case where I want everybody in Norfolk to know that I will try it personally because that's how seriously I take it. Fadihi says he'll go for a direct indictment on those remaining two charges that relate to the fourth shooting victim. We asked Gray's attorney if the fight inside Legacy Nightclub was the provocation for him shooting, why not file charges against those people who assaulted him? Defense attorney had no comment to that question. Meanwhile, the case goes forward to the grand jury the first week of next month. In Norfolk, Chris Horn, 10 in your side. And you can see all of our previous coverage of this story right now on wavy.com.